Did we have one? I'll play it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be good at it, but I'll play it. <laughs> Mitch Matern feel at home. Yeah. Hey, hey, all right, all right. All right, all right. Hey, Ted, we're alive. We're alive, man. <laughs> all right, guys. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Second of all, I want to thank all these friends of mine for showing up. And uh, yeah, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we've come together here to, uh, to help share Carl's life. Carl's touched a lot of people, including a lot of you fans out there. And all the musicians over here, a lot of them couldn't make it tonight. Um, they have other uh, prior engagements and out of town, so they can't make it. But um, throughout the day, we'll be playing songs that Carl's, Carl's taught each and every one of us different things. And we've played different songs with him, so we're going to just collaborate and um, just see where it goes from here. And um, what we're going to do, we're just going to start it off the all, way I always start off alive, is we're going to play You Are My Sunshine. For my granddaughter, Ava, and my grandson, Titus. Um, I always sing this song for them, and um, maybe you should sing it for your grandkids or your kids or your loved one. And uh, just go ahead and sing along with us, guys. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamt. I dreamt I held you in my 
Alrighty, Ava and Titus Papote loves y'all big like the sky. So now we can continue with our celebration. I think Dexter yeah, yeah. has a little story for you and another song. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dexter Danos. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? So me and Cor used to like to take the most rock and rock songs, the most mellow, mellow songs. For some reason, I always turn them into reggae songs. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to do a little reggae rendition of a rock and roll song for Uncle Carl. And this song goes out to everybody else here also, because it uh, takes a lot of friends to make something like this happen, you know what I mean? I'm certain it happens all the time, yeah. And what do you see when you turn out the lights? I can't tell you, but I know it's mine, yeah. You know I get by the little hill from my friend. Yeah, I get high.
Guys, uh, for those of you just tuning in, I'm glad you tuned in. Um, we're going to just play some songs to celebrate Carl's life, uh, the way he's touched us, and songs we've played with him. So uh, who wants to be next, man? <laughs> Pick out, how about you, Ian? What you want to play? I'll go, I'll go. Um, so, uh, yeah, my Uncle Carl was a big blues fan, and uh, he always loved to do this song, even down on the bayou or whether he was uh, touring and... They gave him a chance to get up and sing, you know. He'd always, uh, this is one he always did. It's a Howlin' Wolf song called Who's Been Talking. So uh, we're going to try to do it justice for you, G. Bye. 
Uncle Carl's favorites right there. Thank he you, always Ian. did that one, man. Thank you, Ian. Okay, before we go any further, I really want to thank Drew Nakan and Mark Sheraby yes, yes, for yes. setting us up over here tonight. We started yesterday, the Outbox. Actually, we started planning this, I think, Monday morning. Y'all get, getting the sound because of him right now. But uh, they did a lot of work for you guys. I hope it's sounding good and looking good. We're having a really good time here. So what we're doing again, if you're just tuning in, we, we're celebrating Carl Jr.'s life and, um, and in the different bands and, and different jam sessions that we've played with him. Uh, people's going to, Joe, you want to go next? We'll play a song you want. Okay. Okay. All right. We all get a chance. John. Talk. Okay. Well, well. John's making a request. <laughs> y'all got it. Man. Oh, 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 that one. Sorry, I'm thinking of another one. I'm thinking of another one. All right. We're taking requests now from in the house. <laughs> this one want to come from John over there. A little Bob Marley by request. Thank you. Well, look, 
I'm gonna do one more and I'll take a little break and let these guys play some. But uh, I'm gonna do a... Uh, so next thing I'm gonna do here, Carl used to love to go play with Warren Haynes, man. I'm gonna do a Warren Haynes tune. He loved those Jamaica gigs with Warren Haynes and Government Mule. So. God, you want a cloudy day When the stars ain't shining bright Feel like you've lost your way Those candle lights of home Burn so very far away Well, you gotta let your soul shine Just like my daddy used to say Come on and let your soul it's better than the sunshine It's better than the moonshine The damn show better than the rain But now people don't mind If we all get this way sometimes You gotta let your soul shine Shine on the break of day Gonna make it on my own The world can take the strongest man And make him feel so alone But still I feel the cold wind blow Straight down through my aching bones I think back to what my daddy said Be in the darkness, be full of dawn, yeah you gotta let your soul shine. It's better than the sunshine. It's better than the moonshine. Damn sure better than the rain. But now people don't mind. We all get this way sometimes. You gotta let your soul shine. Shine on the break of all day. Sometimes a man can feel his emptiness Like a woman rocking from his very soul, yeah One woman too, we all know she can feel this way When the dawn is calm, let your spirit guide your way Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. 
being out on the drum, Lamar Jr. comes sing a couple too, man. Sure, that's what I told Mark. To come in tonight. Let's see how we can make it when we up. Right. Yes. So All let's right. Do, so. Uh, hey. hey, Ted. Hey. You know what I think we should do? What's that? Whatever you think we should do. Oh, Dex. You know, I knew I liked you for a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> I thank you, D. I can hardly follow rules, much less make them, bud. Right. Look, I'm gonna tell you the story of this song. Hawk and I was playing a two-piece when after I met Carl for a while, uh, he hooked me up with Hawk, and um, Hawk and I had played around in the clubs by ourselves. I played on my guitar, and Hawk played on the drums. And what happened is Carl had a band named Plow. And what they would do is um, they would come and back up Hawk and I. And in doing that, we like they played good rock and roll. We played the old-time rock and roll, right? And um, what Carl liked to do on our break, after we would take a break, we would all go, he, Rusty, and I would take each a turn and go do an acoustic song during the break before we came back. Because that gave like a, like, you know, it would change the tempo a little bit. We eased back up into the second half. And Carl would always like to do this song. And um, we're going to sing it for you. He, of course, he had to put his own little twist on it, so I'll try to sing it like he did, all right? I'm sure so everybody here's, uh, here can help with that. There's a song anyway. called Into the Misty. C. The song's in C if y'all want to play along at home now. Bye. 
job, guys. All righty, so I think most of you guys out there, y'all probably remember Carl Jr. doing that, right? Because I know I used to see a lot of you guys dancing, even by yourself mostly, right? Just sway into that, you know, Carl on the acoustic. He would, right? Okay, we, we swapping out. We have a, a, quite a few people, and we're trying to give everybody, you know, a chance. Mitch, would you like to sing one? Peanut. Okay. Peanut. Go peanut on your drums. Peanut, you want to come play the drums? Dwight Blanchard from Galliano. See, guys, uh, we're flying off the hip. Drew, would you like to come play one? You can get away for a little while, can't you? Okay. You can use mine. I, I mean, I'd love to go take a cigarette break real quick. <laughs> Drew, you can use mine if you want. I want to go run, smoke a cigar real quick. Okay. Yeah, you don't better. Sorry, I might be a little sweaty, but I know you can probably sweat it too. Let's let it go. How I turn it on? Oh, yeah, it's doing its own. All right, we have Drew Nuckan is going to play the guitar. What you want to play, Drew? So we yonder, baby. That's where my baby, oh, she stayed.
miles from beyond the bay. That's where my baby, oh, she stayed. I got a bad, bad feeling that my baby we don't live anymore. Back over yonder, baby. Way back yonder, like Junior would say, down by Lee Hill. Come on, way back, Lee Hill. Might as well go back over yonder, baby. Way back yonder, down by Lee Hill. Right past the defense, not all the way to Big Lens. Cause if my baby don't love me no more. I know her sister Drew Nockin, everybody. Thank you, Drew. Appreciate that, man. Well, I got the baby. Drew, Drew's not only the musician, he's a sound guy, man. He, he's he's uh, responsible for all everything you're hearing and everything you see. And between him and John Sheremy and Mark Sheremy, uh, man, they set up all the equipment and uh, everything you see. And I helped just a little bit, though. You supplied the home, Ted. I supplied the, the home, house. man. Hey, you know, Corey used to bring that down to buy a shit all over the world? All over, right? Let's do some fast domino for him. Bro. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey. Close that, close. Hey, people at home. Hello, Josephine. How do you do? Do you remember me, baby? Yeah. 
That's one of the songs he played all over the world, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> There's some, um... Uh,
to do that chicken picking like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ready?
Okay, y'all. It's a song I learned in the parking lot with Carl Jr. once. <laughs> the point of source of love.
time of peace and to any time of war. Yes, I smoke two joints, people, I smoke two joints, Lord, and then I smoke two more. See, pass the doji on the left hand side. Pass the doji on the left hand side, yeah. Pass the doji on the left hand side. Yeah. Pass the doji on the left hand side. I could have swore I smelled the bathroom from baby dolls just right. now. Right. <laughs> Close the damn door. <laughs> Shout out to you, Larry. <laughs> Larry. Uh, Larry's way in Texas over there. We talked to him today, man. Oh, yeah, oh. I got to talk to Larry today, man. <laughs>
That's my boy. Y Y'all met my kid? Mm. My boy, That's Blue. That's the uh, fourth generation of my family that Coral got to play with right before he passed away. Wow, yeah. He got to jam with him on his last gig. Yeah, his first show was his last show. His first gig was last gig with Coral, man. Thank God yeah. he got to play with him, though, at least once. Man, Coral was, Coral was so excited. He texted me like a freaking Bible. like. My phone couldn't receive all the messages of the things he was telling me about his ideas with Damon getting older and was gonna start a band and take up to the top, you know what I mean? So uh, he's gonna come play for y'all today with us.
Damon Daniels here on the drums. Yeah, see, Carl got to get to him before he had to pass away, you know. Carl caught him just in the nick of time to turn him into that. <laughs> yeah. Real quick, you know, last project, right there. Elephantes. For y'all watching, this is going to be in the key of elephants. The key of elephantitis. This is another one Uncle Carl used to always do. This was usually a plow a staple right here. Carl would start the show a lot with this, uh, I remember. There's another Beatles tune. Carl was a Beatles nut for y'all that didn't know. But I'm sure everybody that knew him knew he was a Beatles nut. <laughs>
she was another man All the girls around her said she got it coming But she dancing while she can That's a coronavirus song. Get back! Get back! Social distancing. Social distancing. <laughs> or Joe Cocker's new hit, You Can Leave Your Mask On. <laughs> you can leave your mask on. You got it. All right, guys, how about, uh, wait, Mark, don't go nowhere. You can do some background vocals. We're going to do Take It Easy, man. We need all the singers. Yeah. No, I, mean, like, uh, I remember. Not all the singers. When, uh, right. Yeah. Everybody back, sing. Back to when uh, Hawk and I, uh, when Plow would merge with, with us, Hawk and I, and we would uh, become changes. Ted. Well, we had, yeah, changes. That sounds like a superhero name. <laughs> Hawk and I. <laughs> We are the Hawk and I. Hawk and I. Didn't you have Pegasus? Sorry, I just yeah, he is my sidekick, right? <laughs> <laughs> Carl did hook us up together. So yeah. I guess he's uh, a... Yeah. So anyways, we used to do this song, Rusty on lead guitar and Carl on bass and Hawk on percussions and Dan also on drums and I was on guitar. And um, we, used to, we used to really like this song, so we hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Take It Easy. Eagles. <laughs> a friend of mine. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. I know I you still can. Don't even try to understand. It's like a place to take your
take a look at me. Come on. Take it easy by the ego. Take it easy. Mark Sheremy, we want to do a song. Mark Sheremy. Where's Mark Sheremy at? Yeah, hey, Mark, you come, come, come to a song. Come over here. I am, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey. Mark, Sheremy. It's time for you to come join the circle, son. Wherever you want, you pick it. So another song with Carl where we do a changes job, a changes gig, sorry about that. During the break, Carl would always do this song also. So Mr. Mark Sheremy, wait. Carl used to like to do this acoustic by himself. And um, it's a Pink Floyd song. Do you think they'll drop the bomb?
Brother, do you think you'll like this song? Mother, do you think you'll try to bring my ball? Should I trust the government? Mother, should I run for president? Baby. 
You're welcome. Chairman on the guitar.
Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was a good one. That felt good, guys. I hope, <laughs> I hope you guys felt it, man. Nothing like a good song about shooting your woman. Sound like a time for Hey Joe almost. You know, guys, we're here. We're here to celebrate Carl's life. And, uh, you know, I, I just want to remind you guys that, you know, take time to tell people that you love that you love them. You know, you hug, hug, you hug everybody you love, you know, and you meet, hey, that you hey, know. Hey, uh, I tell everybody, everybody says, I man, know you I know, you got to live and, you know, don't hold anything back, you know. So, as you can tell, you know, like I talked to Carl two days ago before, I actually talked to him Friday afternoon, and I told him I loved him. So, at least I got the satisfaction of knowing that I told him I loved him and he knows how I felt about him. Yeah. You know, so, you know, don't be afraid to tell the people in your life that you love them. Live for today, man. Plan for tomorrow. Love is in the air. And the past is the past. You want to do Hey Joe? Yes. Okay. Drew Nakan. Drew. <laughs>
Yeah, hello. Can everybody hear me now? Hello, can you hear me now? Check. Yeah. I'm going to do a couple of songs from Uncle Carl, y'all. This is uh, a Carl Jr. staple, you know. I just want to say uh, I could probably speak for every person in this room. I know from my own personal experience, since I'm the age of four, four years old, y'all, me and my Uncle Carl have been making music. And uh, I'm sure we all grew up with Carl in our lives, and he made us just better musicians. You know, I know every band I've ever been in that he's been a part of, that band was always better when he was in it. So. He was always about the music. He loved music. It was his happy place. And I can say that's something he passed down to me, too, because music is my happy place, and I have him to thank for that. So, uh, and also, Ditto. Also, we did a GoFundMe account, y'all, for his funeral expenses, and I'm happy to say that we raised, in honor of Carl Dufresne Jr., just under $10,000, everybody. Thank you, guys. So, awesome. So for all those watching in Facebook land, Facebook Live, for all those that donated every dollar, I want you to know that all those dollars went to him and for him, for his expenses, and to the family as well, to his mom and dad, my momo, and papa. So you guys are taking care of them and taking care of Carl, and we didn't have to worry about a thing. So thank you to all his friends, his bandmates, families that donated and took time to uh, give a little bit. It all helps. So. Right now, I'd like to do this one from Uncle Carl. It's a little song called Walking the Dog. Yeah, that was one of his favorites, and it's also going to go out to my Momo. So, Momo, wherever you at, we're in the key of C, fellas. We're in the key of C, yeah. This was going out to my Momo, too. She's watching somewhere. Momo, this is for you. This was always her favorite song. in black, baby. She got silver buttons up and down her back. High hole and a tipsy toe, yeah. Now she broke the needle, now she can't so walk in a dog. To the 4th of July, walking a dog.
y'all. Yeah. I got one more in me now. I got one more in me. This was another Carl Jr. staple, y'all. It's a little song called You Got Me Running. Yeah, You Got Me Hiding. Oh! 
This afternoon, this is for you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Let's hear it for Mark on vocals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's in Mark? Who's at Mark? Somebody got to play the drums and somebody got to play the bass. I'll come play the bass. Mom probably didn't recognize y'all with the mask. <laughs> so as you guys could tell, Carl touched, you know, we played all kinds of different music. He was very versatile.
knocking. Which knocking that is? Huh? Ed knocking. <laughs> I know what Ed knocking. Some old kind of. I can hear them knocking as me. They knock on your door. I hear the they knock, knock on your desk. <laughs> Sean Carl Dufresne, yo. Sean Carl Dufresne. I love you guys. See you soon. Thank you, thank you for coming, Sean. Appreciate it.
sing alone, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Sing, Lord, Lord, have mercy, have mercy on me, yeah. Have mercy on me. she be
some free songs. I'm just kind of going through, trying to find some Uncle Carl songs. Something? No, I sure don't. All right, so now we're going to have uh, Ted come back up and we have little Damon on the drums do, and do a Beatle tune for you guys. I'm going to have to watch Uncle Ted so that way I can learn how to play this. started um, before we went live tonight he and I was just jamming out and we done this song so we're gonna do this song for you and it's called something
Okay. All right, guys, what's happening? Uh, our sound guy, Drew, just explained to me. Uh, we're going to have to take a break and get offline. Uh, we have, yeah. We've done all the room that we have. So uh, we're going to come back live. Give us about how long you're looking. By, by 15 to 20 minutes, we'll be, we'll be back. Um, we, we're going to um, regroup. And uh, again, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in so far. Um, we have a lot more music f coming for y'all, and we're so glad that you tuned in to help celebrate Carl Jr.'s life with us. And um, as you can tell in all the music, not too many of the guys here has ever played in a band together. We played separately. So for everyone to come together today, and uh, it really feels really good up here. I hope you guys are enjoying it. So we have a lot more to come for you. We have other guests that will be showing up. Uh, they had... Um, they had stuff to do today, and they will be coming. Actually, there's somebody calling right there to say, hey, we're on our way. <laughs> Dollar for dollars. So, guys, stick around. You know, look, be on the lookout. We'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Thank you, guys. We love each and every one of you.